Hey there, in this uh, video we will be looking into the simulation of multi-threading concept uh, using CPU simulator. So now we have a program called uh, test thread which I have already loaded into the main memory uh, and what it will do is basically it will give us some value as output. Now we are required to create a single process. So let's go to the OS simulator and create a process in, uh, the process should be and the pol uh, scheduler should be round robin with 5 seconds of content time. So let's select 5 seconds and uh, yeah, let's create the process. So our process name is thread test and uh, the p name is p1 and the ppid is 0 and pid is 1. Now what we have to do is uh, we have to answer a few things like what is the output of the program, uh, how many uh, processes are there, how many threads are there and what is the process and uh, like process and thread relationship like we need to create a tree representation of it so let's see how to do that so uh, let's first start the program and we see the uh, process goes into the running state and then it creates a thread which is p10 so let's pause it so we can see that it has created one uh, another process which is like a thread p1 t0 so we go to the process list and we see now there are two processes but mainly this is the main process and this is a thread and we see that p1 t0 is been created now let's run that again now see we see another another pro uh, thread is being created which is p1 t0 t1 which is through p1 t0 so let's resume it again it is running so now we see finally one more thread is created which is p1 t0 t2 so uh, like this program will create four thread uh, three threads so these are the things and we go and see what is the tree relationship so we see process tree relationship thread test is the main process and it has uh, like it has one uh, thread and that one thread has two more uh, child threads to it so this is the uh, tree this thing for that and we see we have one process and three uh, threads for this uh, whole uh, program to be executed now let's just close it and let's finish the whole program So finally we see the whole program is uh, completed now we need to go and see the output of the program so let's go here and see what is the output of the program and we see total equal to 8 so that is the output of a program and uh, yeah so this is what these are the things which we needed uh, to run in the CPU uh, simulation of um, multi-threading so that's all for this video uh, hope you liked it so that's all for this video. Uh, do like and subscribe this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.